sorry about the barnet. I'm not even sorry, I'm growing it. Welcome to the channel, I'm Ads. Let me tell you a story. Oh, shit, it's my hat. <sighs> right, let me tell you a story. 200 days ago, I decided it was time to knock the drink on the head and take up spear fishing. So, those of you that's followed the channel will know that I've had varying degrees of success. By that I mean no success with shooting fish, but every success in learning more, doing more, having more of a laugh. So this video is my 200th day sober diving trip. Right, welcome back to another thrilling instalment of ads trying to shoot fish and getting absolutely nowhere. A bit more poignance to this uh, video today. Today is the 200th day of not drinking. In the last 200 days, um, everything about everything has changed. The last 100 days were a lot harder than the first 100 days. The last 100 days has been a lot more opportunities to have a drink. There's been a lot more reason to have a drink. So it's been a lot more of a challenge to say no, but I have because I, I was thinking, I could have a beer and no one would know, but then I'd know, so that it would be pointless. All of this would have been pointless. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go for a dive today. Um, and one of the other things is today's dive, bear with. In the interest of full disclosure, again, um, I actually did shoot a bass recently. I found myself in amongst a school of bass. Um, really confusing when you're underwater and you haven't been in a school of bass like that um, and you shoot one only to find out that well actually it was undersized so don't tell the fish police because you know I don't want to go to fish prison but yeah it was 36 centimeters but under the water I'm not kidding I genuinely picked out the bigger one and uh, yeah wasn't wasn't sized which was a shame but I'm not going to count it. I'm still only two ras down. I'm only really counting legal fish because otherwise I could just go in and shoot schools of ras and bass and stuff like that. I don't really want to do that. I want it to. I want it to count. So yeah. But while I was doing that, I got a little video of it somewhere, and uh, that piece of video is the last um, piece of video that I managed to get on my GoPro Hero Nine before it drowned itself. Now I'm in a bit of a dispute with GoPro because they say it was my fault. Could have been my fault, not 100% sure. Probably was my fault, um, but either way, I've got to I've got to get it replaced. So, before I get it replaced, I've got an Acaso EK7000. Huh? Yeah, 4K Ultra HD and Wi-Fi. So this was the camera that I had to start with. I haven't really used it since I moved over to GoPro for obvious reasons. I'm going to strap this to my mask today anyway. So yeah, if I do manage to do anything cool today, at least I've got it. I just want the poignance, you know, 200 days and all of that. In other news, I bought a Rob Allen Kubera mask. I was struggling to use. It kept leaking and I was having problems with it till um, my spearfishing guru, Matt Coombe, came to the rescue and said that I pulled it too tight on my head, slacked it off a little bit, cured all the problems. It was a fantastic mask for the one dive that it was working for me. And then I left it on the beach, never saw it again. So yeah, all the, all I can say is don't pull your masks too tight. It's a good bit of advice because I just assumed that was what's going to work. But yeah, don't pull your mask too tight. So yeah, so I'm going to head down to the beach now um, for my 200th sober day dive. See what can happen. It's been really crap weather. We've had two days of half decent weather, but I don't really care. I'm going to go anyway. Um, thanks for joining me for the last 200 days anyway. Um, I've really appreciated it any support um met some cool people it's been wicked actually um if anybody does want to go for a dive feel free to give me a message drop me a line whatever <laughs> i can't tell you how to shoot fish because that skill eludes me but yeah i mean i'm i'm happy to tag along with anyone if anybody does fancy having a dive for the rest of the, the rest of the year give me a shout and i'll uh if i'm free 
I'm up for it. Heading out in the van now. Van life and all that. Um, still loving the van. It's been brilliant. Um, yeah. So let's get down to the beach. It's been a long day. So part of me is knackered and wants to go to bed. But So yeah, let's get down to the beach. I'll see you there. Boom. This is usually the part where I put a hyperlapse video of me traveling to the beach. But instead, I thought I'd drop in a little bit of information about the kit that I'll be taking. So today I'll be taking the obviously the Epsilon Patrol. Can't leave home without it. Definitely taking a diver down flag because people need to know that there's a diver down, morons about. My Paphos Supremes, Diana and Ross, they'll definitely be coming. I'll take my Mori Pelagic wetsuit, that's a must at the moment as well. My Salvamar Crypsis gloves, all available from Spearfish in UK. My Paphos 2 mil socks, available from Fins for You. And I'll be taking my Sigil Sub Carbon Nemesis, 64cm, single band, absolute beast. Love it. Back to the video. Yeah, made it to the beach. Tide's on its way in, not far now. I just parked next to a lovely little um, T4. Similar to ours, but it's blue. Doris. It's called Doris. Says it on it. But yeah, so um, I'm going to get in, see what I could do with the older Casso. See how that goes. But um, yeah, see my new key rings. I had these made before I changed this S to a Z for admin reasons, for a yeah, long story, but yeah, have a look. Yeah, thought they were pretty cool. Wow, that's a lot to tell you. Let's get in the sea, let's see if we can shoot some fish. Happy 200 days sober. And there it was, 200 day sober dive.
and my first legal bus, I can't honestly can't tell you how buzzing I am. It's been hard fought. Um, it's not a massive fish. It's 46 centimetres just over, and that might not be a lot to some people, but it's not the size. The fact it's legal is it means everything to me. It's a really big deal. I'm going in the right direction. I'm doing everything right. The fish was there. I selected the biggest one. Turns out to be a legal bass, completely legal bass, two pound two, two pound two. My first one, I completely stoned it as well, which honestly, it couldn't have gone better for me today. Honestly, 200 days sober, and and that's how it panned out. So, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for hanging on. I've got to try and beat my personal best bass. I've got a personal best bass now. <laughs> 46 centimetres and £2.2 two. yes but honestly yeah buzzing with it um, it hasn't all been a massive waste of time and uh, perseverance pays off make changes that's all you got to do if you want things to be different make them different simple I'm not by the way I'm not saying everyone needs to give up drinking I just want to reiterate that I'm a big fan of drinking if I wasn't I wouldn't have done it for decades but I had to make some changes that's the changes that worked for me so yeah, so I'll see you in the next video anyway. Peace. Just literally packing everything up and uh, yeah, it's actually got to the stage where I haven't even bought anything to put the fish in. <coughs> I was just that used to not shooting them, I didn't even bother bringing anything to put it in, in the van on the way home. Nice problems to have. <laughs>